Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Hollingworth Lake this weekend. We're having a great time. Kids are having lots of fun. We're at a motorhomer.com meet um, and hopefully I'll have a video for you next week about this. But whilst I'm here, I'm with Dee and Liam from Wandering Wheelie and they're out on their first outing in their brand new uh, motorhome, but it's something special. This one's been converted for disabled access. So I just thought I'd give you guys a quick look around. So here's Dee and Liam uh, of Wandering Wheelie. Um, tell us about your motorhome. Oh, it's a uh, Swift Edge 476, but it's been fully converted for wheelchair access. Fantastic, right. And you've, you've had, it's a year old already, but it's your first outing in it. How comes? Yeah, um, I don't want to say the word because everyone's been through it, uh, but that put a spanner into the works. We ordered the vehicle and uh, obviously when everything happened, Swift closed their factory. That delayed things uh, because it's based on a Fiat cab, uh, trouble getting the cabs over. And then uh, once it did arrive, uh, again, it was down on production. So it took longer than normal to build the base vehicle itself. And then it was shipped to the conversion place and again, down on staff because of um, the situation that's gone on and it's just taken longer than anybody expected. The conversion place, who converted it for you? So there's a company in uh, Nuneaton called Coachbuilt GB and they specialise and literally that's all they do, they're a Swift dealer and they convert caravans, motorhomes and camper vans for wheelchair access. Fantastic, excellent. And so you've got a special chair there, Dee, that I can see yep. swivels around yep. and it's slides right back. Yeah, it's six-way electric, so I've got three swivel, three buttons on the side here. Um, one that goes up and down, and then one that goes back and forth. Fantastic. And one that swivels. Brilliant. And you can literally swivel and then slide yourself right up towards the steering wheel yep. to drive. Yep. You do most of the driving, don't you? I do all the driving. All the driving, wow. So uh, how about the pedals? Tell us how you do the accelerator and the brake and the and what have you. I've got a lever on the right hand side where I just um, pull up for the accelerator and press down for the brake. And then on the top of that, there's a little toggle which does my indicator. So it's all controlled with your hands? Yeah. Wow, fantastic. Look at that chair. <laughs> so it's a bit different in here than it was when it was new, right? Yeah, uh, when we first got the vehicle from uh, Swift, it was a standard uh, Edge 476. So it was a six berth motorhome. And when it went to the conversion company, the inside was literally gutted. Um, so there's barely anything left original, um, including the kitchen. Um, bits of that have changed. Uh, again, um, the seat that I'm sat on has been shortened slightly to give extra width in the aisle uh, for wheelchair access. Um, the bed was a French style, uh, two single beds. And that's all been changed to a transverse bed wardrobes added uh, lockers added on the rear so literally everything inside has been totally changed so you bought a brand new van you give it to a company to completely gut it inside yeah and so change we, it just for your needs literally Fantastic. yeah literally so we um bought the the base vehicle um at forty eight thousand pound we went for the black edition um because of the automatic which denise needs to drive um so we got the black edition and then all the conversion done. We have gone a little bit on the upgrade. So we've had a uh, full Victron solar system and uh, inverters put in, all fully Victron. We uh, have had the fridge changed from the three-way fridge to a uh, Dometic compressor fridge. Oh, fantastic. We want to go for one of them, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's brilliant. It's got the magic two-way door. Um, so 
beer from one end, bacon from the other. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, now the vehicle is £91,000. Wow. How much was that conversion then? So the conversion was from 48 to 91. But that's with a lot more toys as well. That's not the basic conversion, like you say. No, it's not, not the basic conversion. I don't know how much the basic conversion was um, because the vehicle's still new to us. We've had it sort of 24 hours. Sure. Uh, we've still got to be sent the invoice with the breakdown. So, <laughs> You've got solar and uh, batteries. What do you got? Yeah, so the solar we've got, uh, um, again, Victron panels. So we've got two 305 watt so making 610 watt of solar on the roof um, again the vehicle's been changed for that so i don't know if you can see at the back um, just in the bedroom where the um, lights are on the roof that used to be a skylight that's where your solar is, is it? so the skylight was taken out so we could accommodate the two solar panels at the back um, so we've got the two solar panels, we've got two uh, lithium Victron 100 amp hour batteries. You went for the Victron 100 amp hours. Yeah, the Victron wow, 100 amp hours. Victron system, fantastic. So the, the, the Victron we've had put in, we've got a uh, 3000 watt inverter. The MultiPlus, same as ours. Yeah, exactly, same MultiPlus. Um, we have got the external controller. I don't know if you've got the external controller, which is just up there. We don't have the external controller. So no. we can turn the um, uh, inverter on or off uh, without Fantastic. digging into there. Yep. Uh, but just the Victron solar system was four and a half thousand pound. Right. <laughs> but we needed it um, because that, as you'll see later on, uh, one of the com the parts of the conversion is a wheelchair cassette lift so Denise can actually access the vehicle and that takes a lot of power so we needed the power. Let's take a look at that shall we? Show me this bathroom. Okay, so it's a full wet room. So first of all, we open that door. And then we open this one and it comes all the way round. And then we have the curtain that makes the whole area a wet room. Fantastic. And we have four drainage holes for the water yep i see fantastic and the sink the sink again the whole unit was changed the original sink sat over the wheel arch so this whole unit was made uh, again using original swift parts and now we have a drop down stick which enables denise to get her knees underneath and use the sink much more convenient fantastic yeah. thank you you put a max air fan in, I see. We have, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So one of the compromises we had to make with the bed um, to enable us to get Denise's hand cycle in is we had to hire the bed so we had the space within the garage. Another thing that's intrigued me, Dee, is your bike. It looks fantastic. Show us how it works. I've got 27 gears on it. 27? Um, yeah. <laughs> it's got uphill, downhill and uh, straight. And this is my uh, gear lever. I've also got reverse gear. Oh, wow. Fantastic. And then if I need to shoot off quick if I'm crossing the street with busy traffic or anything, I can just hit this button, which will shoot me off. <laughs> and then I've got to do is this pedal. Fantastic. And it's electrically assisted. Yeah, it's a hybrid bike, yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic.
brilliant. <laughs> so guys, thanks so much for showing us your motorhome today. It is fabulous. Your first outing in it. Um, hope you're enjoying it already. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks oh. uh, for filming, Steve. Not and, at all. Uh, thanks to uh, motorhomer.com for letting us come to uh, our first rally. And it's um, if you guys want to send them some love, Wandering Wheelie on YouTube. Yeah. I'm going to yep. hand over there and um, have a look at their channel. Brilliant. Thanks Thank so you. much, guys. I'll see you again. All the best. Cheers. Take Cheers, care. Bye-bye. Right, guys. Hope you enjoyed a, an interesting look around Dean Liam's new converted motorhome. Um, if you did, go and check out their YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below. This weekend, 5th and 6th of uh, June, we are at Stratford-upon-Avon Racecourse for the International Campervan and Adventure Overland Show. So I think there's still tickets available. Again, I'm going to put a link in the description below. If you guys are at, at a loose end this weekend, when you're coming up and say hello and come and grab some stickers from us. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.